I once knew a lady who abandoned Christ for golf. She played after work and then began to skip midweek services to play and soon was absent on sunny Sunday mornings as well. I tried to warn her of the danger signs, but eventually she was playing golf on Sundays, rain or shine. A few years later, a friend told me that she had asked him if the Bible really was inspired after all. This person is an unfortunate example of someone who ignored the speed bump warning her of the dangerous curve her faith was taking. We all experience speed bumps along the road of life. They're placed there to alert us to the things that have the potential of destroying our souls if we don't pay attention and make the necessary changes. Sometimes the bump causes the rattling of our consciences as we continue to ignore a bad habit or attitude. At other times, it's the cold realization that God has just taken something away from us because of our disobedience. Regardless of this situation, we know when we've just hit a bump. The question is, what to do about it? Most prudent drivers slow down when they feel a speed bump and are alerted to the possible danger. If you've been feeling a few bumps in your spiritual life lately, maybe God is trying to give you a heads up, pay attention, and arrive alive.